Okay, welcome back to Yapchagi channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video review for this uh, new interesting product. It's from the company called Apricorn. Can you read that Apricorn? So it's called the Velocity Solo. That's the product name. So basically you put your SATA 3 SSD, you slide it in right there. And you plug this into your PCI Express 2.0 port slot. I mean, I'm sorry. And uh, I bought this from Micro Center. It's uh, $49.99. There you go. Easiest way to add SATA 3 and an SSD via PCIe 2.0. Super fast desktop. The back of the box comes with this uh, easy gig cloning software whatever oh this is great trim compatible how cool is that so the motherboard I'm using is the x58 chipset so that motherboard has the uh, first gen set of three cont controller from Marvel which is not that good and the SSD I'm gonna be using is this uh, OCZ Agility 3 120GB read speed is up to 525MB per second write 500MB per second 4K random write align is 50,000 IOPS Okay, I'm gonna unboxing this puppy. Okay, I have finished unboxing both of this thing. Okay, so this is what the product looks like. Let's just get rid of the box. Stay a little free. Okay, this is the card. This is just some plastic. Oh, sorry. Just some plastic here. No paper. Nothing. So, like I said, you slide in the SSD right there. And this is the back. There are some screws here. There's actually another set of 6G controller, I mean not controller, uh, slot or connection here. So we put it in like so. Kind of push it. Uh, it's hard to do this guys, I mean I'm using one hand here. I don't want to break this or anything. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's done. So it looks like the re drive or ZZ re drive. Visha Express connection. Bam! That's it. How easy is that? I'm gonna install this right now. Okay, everything is installed in the system. I'm just turning on my computer right now. Let's see what's gonna happen. I have to go into BIOS. Come on, come on. There you go. Android setup.
Okay, I'm in the BIOS right now. I guess I should go to hard disk drives. Oh, there you go. It's right there. Nice. I like that. So right now, we just gonna make sure that the drive is in and it's detected by the computer. Just gonna save it. Go into Windows mode. This, this uh, Windows 7 is actually installed in uh, Agility 2 SSD which is the previous version there you go set as 6G starting windows okay looks like everything is okay ready to use there you go I guess it's ready I'm gonna go to uh, oh I need to restart computer that's what it says there restart okay I'm gonna do that restart I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole screen of my monitor see all the action what I'm gonna do right now is run at all this benchmark again for the agility 3 but this time I'm already using the uh, velocity solo so we'll see what the score is gonna be is it gonna reach the uh, maximum speed 550 for reading and 525 for writing I guess we're gonna find out huh Control, this is Delta. Yeah, this is just PS3 media server. I guess that's it. There's nothing drive detecting, hardware scanning, whatever. mind the music in the background there's just some stupid Facebook game yeah my girlfriend is behind me she's playing Facebook game Hmm, 
doesn't look that good, huh? I mean, we're about halfway now. It's only 200 megabit per second for reading. Guess not. Yep. It's not good, guys. It's not good. Looks like the limit for reading is two hundred eight megabyte per second. Writing the limit is 122 megabyte per second. That's even lower when I'm using the um, Marvel controller. Wow, what a disappointment. That is not good at all. Well, there you go. There is the proof right there. Velocity solo. Here is the uh, ETO benchmark for Agility 3 connected via the uh, Marvel Zeta 3 controller. As you can see here, the reading speed is only about 400 megabit per second, and the writing speed is about half, only 240 megabit per second.